Now, amidst fears that the current face-off between China and the U.S. over the sovereignty of Taiwan may worsen the ongoing global semiconductor shortage, Business Today is in Taiwan, the world's semiconductor manufacturing capital, to check the ground situation. India Today's Gaurav Sawant, who is reporting on the Taiwan-China tension from Taipei, took stock of how the semiconductor chip industry is coping with the tension. Here's his exclusive report from the rarely seen insides of a chip plant at the Hindu science park in Taiwan. A semiconductor or a chip, perhaps the most potent weapon in Taiwan's armory, more potent than the F-16 Vipers and the Patriot. And on the show, we will tell you how sand and rock, SiO2, are converted into polysilicon rocks and then a silicon ingot, how bare silicon wafers are made out of this and how this is then converted into this chip or IC that's used perhaps in most devices in your house from a mobile phone to a television set to a refrigerator or the aircraft you fly in by some accounts majority of such products come from Taiwan. Gaurav Sawant in one of the most secretive manufacturing plants in the world. The center of technology which makes Taiwan one of the biggest soft powers in the world. This is Semiconductor Manufacturing Unit of Micronix International at the Senchu Science Park, 80 kilometers from Taipei in Taiwan. Taiwan manufactures over 90% of the most advanced varieties of semiconductor chips in the world. We know this is a high tech and which requires uh, not only the manpower, the, the mind, the brain, as well as the infrastructure. So, for example, uh, providing a stable supply of uh, uh, electrical powers, uh, water supply, and everything else. Okay. Other than that, I think the entire supply chain, so, uh, for example, the wafer production, the testing, the assembly, so all the supply chain, that's uh, needs a lot of uh, uh, co coherence, cooperation in the industry. So in Taiwan, I think uh, it provides a very provident uh, environment to develop all this. More than 150,000 are employed at this plant. Just 10 miles from Taiwan Strait, where Chinese warships have their guns pointed towards the small island nation. While on the surface, everything is calm, there is real fear here of the dragon's aggression. A feeling of nervousness which is spooking electronic majors all across the world. This has led to several countries, including the US and India, to try and shift manufacturing of semiconductors locally to break China's stranglehold around Taiwan. You can barely see this microchip, but this powers perhaps your mobile phone. Microchips or semiconductors like these also power missiles in different countries. So whether it's your television set or your refrigerator set or the car in your house, semiconductors by some accounts, 90% are manufactured here in Taiwan. If tensions with China increase, the global supply chain will be adversely impacted. And that's the reason Taiwan is reaching out to democracies across the world. Unless there is a check on China's authoritarianism and expansionism, then global economy may just be adversely impacted. It's time to act now or it may just be too late. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.